Hello, good day, everyone. I'm good news from the King's Farm and Industry. Wow. My face is rough now. Beginning to be ugly these days. All times to walk, travel here and there, but what can we do? Uh, today, I want to quickly have a chat with you guys on some certain things that have been happening in snake farming, of which some claim that they were deceived. In others, are saying uh, it's not how they saw things, they see things to be before they start. Okay. While I was at Abuja, a whole lot of things happened, different things on social network. And I also have been receiving calls lately from age uh, people in the society who are saying that uh, they want to invest in snail farming the moment they retire and then make so that they can be making reasonable amount of profit. Uh, six or seven or eight to 12 months the moment they invest. Wow, that is a very good one. You see, I've been answering them to the best of my cap capacity in terms of the knowledge at my disposal about snake farming. And today I want to answer all here so that these things will be shaped, okay? When it comes to snake farming, just like as I've been saying, there are certain things that must be in place. There are certain things you must look into. We have housing system, we have species of snakes, we have management, we have feeding. But today we'll be talking about timing. Now, some are saying that they were told that in the space of one year, they will make one million euro. How true is this? Can snake farming really pay you up to a million in the space of 12 months? Yes and no. That has always been the answer. And I've also tell some persons that snail farming is not a business for poor people. And they a whole lot of consultants and some intended farmers on social network, most especially Facebook, have been insulting me for that, saying that I'm discouraging uh, those who don't have money to start. I'm not actually discouraging anyone. Just that Nigeria we hardly cooperate and then set up a business. You see, today I want to explain all of this so that you that don't have a good amount of money can know the position you fall into and then know how to grow your snail farm from here. It's not actually, because what I was saying, it's not that those who don't have reasonable amount of fund cannot actually invest in snail farming, but there are time and procedure. Okay, now, uh, before I start, I want to establish this fact. Snail farm cut across three different sections. But when you look into snail farming, what you see is three different sections. We have uh, three different levels. We have the O level. Those are the zero level, the very, very low level. Okay, that's where those who don't have funds fall into. Then we have the medium level. Then we have the high level. These three levels demand for three different kinds of management, three different types, kinds of feeding uh, routine, three different kinds of harvest return, a harvest return. You get me? So we will be starting with timing today, just like as I've said, how long will it take for me to make reasonable amount of uh, from snail farming. Now, the major challenge we'll be having on social network, which resulted into uh, many lost in millions in snail farm, is because those at the high level actually taking information that is classified for those at the low level. And the presenter or the consultants that is uh, presenting this information don't really understand these theory levels Instead of telling those at the low level, this information is for you alone, then they say this is for snail farming. Then everyone queue along. When you at the high level takes information from that is classified for those at the low level, you're going to experience mortality. When you at the low level takes information that is classified or made for only those at the high level, you will end up in debt. Now, Let's start with those at the low level. 
the time involved here is that you at the low level have to be very patient. Know this now. If you have snails below 100 pieces, if your snail farm, the snails in your farm is below 100, 100 and below, you are at the low level. Understand this today. Okay, you can really make good amount of profit from snail farming, but then you have to invest in patience. You at the low level, there are certain advantages you have over those at the high level. Number one, you can feed your snails with anything. You get me now. You can rely on uh, fruit vendors, so you'll not be spending money in feeding. So this particular knowledge of relying on vendors, fruit vendors, is actually made this information is only for those at the low level okay you can rely on fruit vendors going to those uh a book or whatever they call them any vendors that sell fruits then feed them uh, get the the waste from them bring it raise it and feed your snails with it okay and then you can actually sort for feed around you relying on uh, planted crops around Relying on vegetables around to feed your snails because you don't have your snails are not much. You get me now. Then if you are in intensive system, I'm sorry, I don't practice intensive system. I have been practicing it so I understand the mortality that comes with it. Um, but I will not rule it out for those who are staying into it. But me, I don't. I don't, I don't advise anybody to go into it. So if you are in intensive system, getting fried. That your soy fried will not be an issue because you just need a uh, little, not too much. You get me now. Then your your return, your return, is not something financial return for you. It's not something that you should have in the space. You should have a mindset of it in the space of twelve months. I want you to know because your hundred snails each laid the minimum of 10x for you. That's just 1,000 in the space of one year. If you set them at the rate of 100, 100 naira, how much will you, how much are you going to make? If you omit the cost of production from it, from that total amount that comes in from your 1,000 days, you're going to discover that you still have more money to pay because the cost of, pro the, the, the financial return will not cover the cost of production. You get me now. So that's one, one thing you need to know. But if you can be patient, invest in time, and then continue to uh, enlarge, uh, uh, increase the capacity of your farm, that 1,000 pieces in the next year, in the space of the other 12 months, they will produce you with 10,000 pieces. Then we give the other 1,000 for mortality. Okay? Then the other 10,000 pieces between the third to the fourth year, they will be producing you with a minimum, let's say in the fourth year, minimum of 100,000 pieces. So if you market at this time, you will have good return. And then you can, from here, you cannot begin to market every 12 and 15 months. You'll be making reasonable amount of profit. But if you market your 1,000 at the end of the uh, 12 to 15 months, then the other year you are going to start from the very scratch. So these are things that are involved. For those of you who are at the low level, I want you not to be in a hurry in terms of marketing. Okay? I also want you not to be in a hurry to make profit. I want you to know this. Don't be in a hurry in terms of marketing. Don't be in a hurry in terms of profit making. So don't spend much on feeding. Sort for feed around you. You you don't know if you get me on this. So you will not be paying staff on managing your farm because just a little farm, you can manage that yourself. And if you have 1,000 and below in your farm, you are at uh, the medium level, the very, very average level. Now, your return is, is a little bit higher than those at the low level in the space of 12 months. But it will not be reasonable enough to pay you in millions, even in one million in the space of that 15 months. So those of you starting with 1,000 pieces, don't put hope on 
your first market to pay you a million in the space of 12 months. It can't. Because you will be having a minimum of 10,000 snares in the space of 50 months. Minimum of 10,000 snares in the space of 50 months. It's times 100. So we are looking at 1 million. Omit, uh, omit your what's name, uh, cost of production from it. You're going to discover that you are just owing. You are still owing some change. You get me? But if you can allow your snake, uh, you can allow your snake to stay for the next year. The 10,000 laying 10, 10 each the next year. So they're going to provide you with 100,000 snakes. So at this time, you can market and make reasonable amount of profit. From here, you can be marketing annually. But if you market your 10,000 in the first year, or in the space of the first 15 months, you're going to bounce back to nothing. So, first of all, it's good you understand these are the time involved in harvesting. And also, you are the mid, at the middle level, the very average level. You can only rely on feed from vendors 50%. You have to plant crops in your farm, like we have in this greenhouse. You also need to have a mini farm. I mean, repeat, a mini farm at the side of your farm, where you have crops that snake feed on, that be planted there. If not, you will rely on feed for a concentrate for your snakes. Okay? Aside the concentrate, you also need to make a budget of buying, of buying feed, fruits, vegetables, from the open market or from crop farmers to feed your snakes. You are repeating now because these are certain things some of us do. If you rely on the fruit vendors alone, what you will be getting will not be enough to feed your snakes. The additional feed will not be enough. Because imagine you have 1,000 pieces. And every day you have to give them additional feed. At this time, you are the medium level. You have to take bio security management serious. Not everyone should walk into your farm. Because your farm is bigger than that at the low level. You get me now? Then... For those at the very, very high level, what I want you to know is that you cannot rely on fruit vendors to feed your snakes. It can never be possible. And you cannot rely on getting feed around you to feed your snakes, getting fruit or vegetables around. You have much, much more number of snakes. You have high number of snakes that you cannot get it around. So, as you are setting up your farm, have a farm, a farm, a crop farm around your farm where you where crops are harvested and being fed to your snakes. Then, you also need to locate a feed me around you. Then, me feed for your snakes just to cut down the cost of your production so it will not be high. You don't rely on information gotten from social media to feed your snake. No, 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 no. Don't try it. You don't. Because any mistake that comes with it, you're going to lost snake in millions. One thing you need to know is that you need a very good feed formula that you will be using to formulate your feed so you will not be buying. I sell feed. We sell snake feed. But I'm telling you this so that your costs... You can cut down the cost of your production. So you will not be buying feed. So milling feed will cut down the cost of production because as the day goes by, the number of the snakes in your farm are increasing. Automatically, you are going to be feeding, providing additional feed for them in bags. You can discover that in the space of a week, your snakes are now finishing like two bags, three bags. Yes. You get me now. So you cannot rely on feed around. Like as I've told you, get a, a set up a, a, a crop farm where you have the the, the, the feed, the, the crops and the fruits trees that the snake feed on. Then you have good feed formula. 
will locate a very good meal around you, formulate your feet there or meal your feet there, then be feeding your snails with it. If you can rely on concentrates alone, it will be better because at this time, your farm is very, very big and massive. I repeat, any mistake made, it will tell on you. If you rely on fruits gotten from the open market, it will tell on your farm. Don't say you, you were not told. If you breach biosecurity principles, it is going to tell heavily in your farm. At this time, no one should visit your farm. Discourage everyone from visiting your farm. Because there are certain things that happens when you breach biosecurity management. Stop visitors from visiting your farm because at this time and at this stage, anything can happen just to reduce the cost, to reduce mortality. And then you can market your snails in the space of 12 to 15 months and make reasonable amount of profit. Imagine you start with 5,000 because those at the high level are those that have 5,000 and below. Imagine you are starting your farm with 5,000 snails. 5,000 each lane, 10, 10. In the space of 12 months, you will have the minimum of 50,000 snails. So marketing 40,000 out of this 50,000 is nothing. And then you make reasonable amount of profit from it. Since snail farming is a game of numbers, and then the return appreciate as the numbers increase, your, you can market 30,000. The other 20,000 is laying 10, 10 for you. So we'll be having about 200,000 the next second year. Then you can also make millions, even in the space of 12, in the space of 12 to 15 months. So you that are in the high level, your first market will pay you in millions. But you are the, the medium level. Your first market might pay you in hundreds of thousands. Then you are the low level. Your first market will pay you in tens of thousands. I repeat, you are the low level. Don't expect your first market to pay you in hundreds of thousands. It can only pay you in tens of thousands in the space of 12 to 15 months. You are the medium level. Your market, your first market cannot pay you, pay you in the space of 12 to 15 months in millions. It can only pay you in hundreds of thousands. Then you are the high level. Your first market can pay you in millions. That's just the difference. Knowing fully whether it takes time for snail to grow. It takes time for snail to lay eggs. Like this farm you are seeing, it was not constructed in a day. It takes time for the construction to be done. It takes time to, for the crops planted to grow. It takes time for the breeders to lay eggs. It takes time for the eggs ha to hash. It takes time for the hashlings to grow to marketable size. So in all of this, generally, snail are slow-growing animals. So this... Let me make profits in the space of six months. Cut it down. Snail farming is not narabet. It's not narabet, I repeat. So invest in time. If you are at the low level, at the medium, uh, the very average high level, invest in time. In the space of 12 to 15 months or to 18 months, you can make your first harvest and then it will run into millions. If you are practicing green, if you are practicing the, the extensive, the greenhouse, just like this one. Don't think we don't have snails here. We do. Yeah. Look at that. You see? You can, you see that? Yeah. We do. Don't think we don't. You see that? Now, they are everywhere, just everywhere. So, because of it is an extensive system, the mortality will drop and the labor will drop. So everything goes well like this as it goes in the normal forest for them. So, invest in time. For those of you at the low level, please, Project your first market to be the fourth year, not even the second year, not the third one. And for those of you at the medium level, please budget your first market to be the 
set the th third year so that you can make good amount of profit. Yes, your profits will not appreciate and you will still end up in debt.